because in real life, I don't look like that. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe down below. If you're not new here, welcome back. Don't forget to leave a like. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a Q&A. I asked everyone on Instagram three times. I had to beg everyone on Instagram to ask me some questions so I can make this video. So let's just get right into it. The first question is, how do you guys treat you in the gaming community? I haven't had any issues with males in the gaming community, to be honest with you. Like I said, I've been gaming for as long as I can remember. And growing up, I was a tomboy, so it wasn't like I was, I'm this girly girl going into gaming and like all I care about is makeup and hair and nails. No, no. I care about gaming and I just do hair, makeup and nails. Get it right, all right? So yeah, they don't treat me any different. Like literally, I haven't been treated any different. Maybe when I play with like someone I've played before, they were like, "Oh, you're really good," and then that's it, literally. Or like on the cod fucking lobbies, people. Like, you say, "Oh, get back to the kitchen." Oh, you whore. Oh, you slut. Oh, do do do. Oh, you suck dick. Do 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 do. Yeah. So, you ever visit states, and if so, will you come to ATL? Where's ATL? Atlanta, I'm guessing. I've never been to America. I would love to go to America one day. One day I'll go. But no, I haven't ever been to America. I plan to in my lifetime go there but i haven't been to atlanta no <laughs> how's your makeup so flawless listen i don't know my skin is clear isn't it like i've got clear skin the only reason i wear makeup is because my bags like today i thought look at my hair today i thought for my video should i do a full face of makeup and i thought no because in real life i don't look like that because in real life i don't wear full face of makeup every day like this is the makeup you'll see me in concealer mascara that's it and I'll be on my way. I don't know how my makeup's so flawless. It might look like that, but I don't know. I actually don't know because the makeup I use is fucking cheap as fuck as well. So, yeah, I don't know. Next question. What is your skincare routine? I don't have a skincare routine. When I go in the shower, I wash my face with water and soap and that's it. If I can be asked, I take off my makeup after a night out. Rarely, very rarely. Take off my makeup before a night out. Like I don't look after my skin at all. Like I don't know. Literally, all I use is soap and water. The bar soap, I rub it on my hands, and then I put it on my face, and then I splash water, and then that's it. <laughs> Literally, I don't use none of these extra creams or anything. You'll be lucky if I even cream my face, to be honest with you. Like, I'm, I'm being dead serious. You'll be lucky if I even cream my face, so. Next question, best way to edit your YouTube videos for beginner on YouTube? Your iPhone, iMovie is my best friend. I use it all the time. The only time I use the software I have on my laptop is if I want to add like special text or like put my picture, like my logo on or whatever. If not, to edit my clips, I use iMovie, mate. Literally, what you need to do, send your um, clip from your PlayStation to YouTube unlisted. Go onto YouTube on your phone, obviously on your account, and screen record the video and put it on iMovie and slice it up. Very simple. What is your nationality? So, I get asked this a lot. My mum is half Irish and half Trinidadian, and my dad is full Jamaican. So, yeah, that's my mix. Jamaica, Trinidad, and Ireland. Quote, do you live by? I live by, you only live once, fuck it. Fuck it, literally, you only live once. That's the fucking quote I live by. Like, you only live once, innit? That's it, YOLO. That's it, I don't know. Cause I can't think of a quote off the top of my head, so that is it. My favourite and least favourite food. My favourite food is, um, I don't know, I like chicken. Um, I don't know. I like chilli con carne, okay? My favourite meal is chilli con carne. That's, that's not even chicken, but yeah, that's my favourite meal. My least favourite food, there's a lot of foods because I'm a fussy eater, like, I don't even like pizza, so I'll say pizza. Yeah. Pizza and melted cheese. Mm, no. Not me. Not a bit of me. Not a bit of me. Would you... Okay, this is, this is a good one. Would you... Wait, would you rather have... Would you rather a million subs but 85% of them are toxic to you or 10k loyal interactive subs? 10k loyal interactive subs all the fucking way because I love you guys and yeah. So yeah, I'll, I'll much rather 10k interactive subs than a million 
people which are being rude to me. Like, who wouldn't? Like, some people are all for clout, not mean babes. I want a community. I want you guys to love me and I love you. Do you know that? Yeah. What's your tag? Well, back in the day, my tag was T Dot. Everybody knew me as T Dot. People to this day, even if I see them from back in the day, they still call me T Dot. Throw that in the fucking bin, will ya? Because I know T Dot around here anymore. Tiana Mercedes, bitch. Yeah? Cool. How did you get into gaming and what made you decide to start creating content? Well, basically, like two years ago, I started streaming on Twitch. I started streaming Fortnite on Twitch. I built a lovely close-knit community on there. Literally, all my people used to be in every stream. Let me try and name someone. I'm like, OJ, I know you, and he still watches my videos now. Kemi, you still watch my videos now. Jess, Dennis, there's loads of them which came from Twitch, yeah? Like, I started my Twitch community two years ago. Was it two years ago? Yeah, 2017, I started streaming on Twitch. And then I stopped. And then I started, and then I stopped, and I started, and then one day I streamed on Twitch, and no one came in my stream, and I thought, fuck, like, I've lost my whole community, like, I need to start from scratch. That's when I moved over to YouTube. This year, in July this year, I started in the beginning of July, by the end of July, I had a thousand subscribers, that like, I was growing so well, like, I was streaming every day, and then I stopped again. It was for personal issues, I couldn't stream, but then I just didn't get back into it after that, I don't know why, but now... I'm starting again and I'm not gonna stop oh hopefully please if I stop guys bully me into into not stopping because like I'm too inconsistent like I'll stream I'll stream for a good solid month back to back back to back back to back back to back and then I'll just stop then I'll lose everyone which I like all the all the loyal people which came and used to come out stream every day I'll lose them because I'm just a dickhead what's your overall thoughts on Modern Warfare now that's been out a month and a half I love it. I love this game. Like everyone's like, oh my god, like I don't really think you'll come on Fortnite. But I've been telling people when I was playing Fortnite, I like Call of Duty. The game I used to play was Call of Duty. Like Call of Duty is my game. Like Fortnite wasn't my game. I used to just play it because everybody used to play it and there wasn't a good Call of Duty. But now there's a good Call of Duty. I'm back, bitches. I'm back in this motherfucker. And I'm streaming, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna be streaming um on YouTube. I'm gonna try and stream at least at least three times a week if not more for you guys like I'm really trying to build my community back and everything like that so yeah let me give you some love and affection have you met anyone famous <laughs> no I haven't well I've met Sarani what's a chill dad it's 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 Sarani just in case you never know just in case you never know, oh, oh. Yeah, I met him once in Trinidad. That's it, literally. It's the even class that's famous. I don't even know. But anyway, I'll set a picture here. Of me in Trinidad with Sarani. He was at our hotel. But yeah. That's the, only, that's the only thing. Would you like to be famous? No, I wouldn't. Like, I wouldn't like to be famous because I can't stand people in my business. I can't stand, like... I don't know, like, famous people, people dig into their life, like, people stand outside their house with cameras. Like, no, I don't, I don't, I don't wish to be famous. I like to be well known, tight knit community, and like people would support me and stuff. But I would, I don't think I'd like to be famous with like the paparazzi and all that shit. It would piss me off because I'm a very private person. Like I don't like people in my business. Like that would actually piss me off. Like really and truly, it would actually piss me off. Like, how did you find being a young mum? Well, everyone like when I found out I was pregnant, like everyone was shocked. But not that shocked because like from when I was young, I've always loved babies. Like I've been very maternal, like I'm a maternal person. So having a baby young, it wasn't a struggle for me. Like I didn't struggle once through raising her, through like, I didn't struggle at all, especially because I had support from my amazing family and my best friend. So yeah, I didn't struggle at all, to be honest. The only thing I, I would say is the sleep. I was tired all the time because she used to wake up in the night. So I was tired all the time. That's the only thing about motherhood that killed me was the sleep everything else was fine because i'm a very maternal person like i know what i'm doing with babies like i'm not i'm not one of those people which, which don't know what they're doing like i know what i'm doing in it from when i was young i used to babysit my cousins like I, i'm a five i'm a very baby person does that make sense i'm a baby person like i love babies and kids and children so being a young mum doesn't and to be honest it hasn't stopped me from doing anything I've, i wanted to do because really realistically People say, oh, you have your baby young, you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't do this. But when you're 35, 
40 years old and, and you have your child, you have to pause your career to go back to work. You have to then pay for a, a nanny to go back to work. The same way, when I have when I had my daughter, I went back to work. My mum helped me look after her, but it doesn't make it doesn't make a difference whether you have a baby before your career or after your career. If, if anything, I think it would be best to have your baby before your career and then you, you can start up because then you'll get mid through your career, have the child, boom, maternity leave, not at your work for, for a whole entire year, all this bullshit, then you don't even have time with your baby because you want to go back to work because it's your career and you can't let your career, um, no, sorry, I'm happy, but favourite holiday, my favourite holiday was Trinidad, I went to Trinidad for a month and I've only been once but I actually really enjoyed it, like I really loved it there, just the culture, the people, everything, really loved it, it was really nice. Have you ever fired a real gun? No, I haven't, I'm scared of guns, I would love to go to a shooting range, like, because you know the ones in America where you stand up and you shoot people? I think I'll be sick of that, I, but no, I haven't ever shot a real gun. Uh, why would you even ask me that? No, I haven't, sorry. What do you call your grandparents? I call them nanny and granddad. That's what I call them. Or if, if I'm talking about my nan, I'll say my nan. But I call her nanny and I call my granddad and granddad. What is your favourite song? My favourite song right now would be... My favourite song right now is Little Dirk Friday yeah, I like that one. They started riots. They started riots again. I like that one. Do you believe in karma? Um, I do to a certain extent. Like I believe like what goes around comes around, but I don't know to be honest. Yeah, I do. I guess I do. I do. I do. Short hair, long hair, long hair. All day, every day. Short hair don't suit me at all. My head is too big. So yeah. Do you wear makeup every day? No, I don't wear makeup every day. Like, literally. I was literally com contemplating doing this video because I couldn't even be asked to put on a bit of concealer and mascara to do this video. Like, I don't wear makeup every day. Like, the only time I wear full face of makeup is if I want to take pictures for Instagram or if I'm going out. That's it. Like, if I'm going out, out, like, out, out. On a normal day to day, you won't catch me in makeup. I look like I'm dying. I look like I'm so tired because my bags are fucking ridiculous, but who cares? If you won the lottery, what would you do? I would. Buy a house for myself, I'll buy a house for my mum, I'll buy a house for my dad, I'll buy a house for my auntie, I'll buy a house for my uncle. My nana already has a house, but if she wants a new one, then I'll buy a house for her too. Of course my sister, but my sister will probably stay with my mum, or me. Yeah, I'll buy everyone a house, literally, that's what I'll do. Or I'll buy a massive house and have everyone live with me, that's what I'll do. And then I'll buy a nice car and, and I don't even know what else. And then I'll start a business, but I don't know what I would do in my business, because... But yeah, I buy everyone houses. How many pillows do you sleep with? I sleep with two pillows, but like I sleep with one. Like I have one normal pillow, then I have one pillow with, with, with feathers in it. You know the ones that you can mush it around. So I put the normal pillow flat and then I like fold the other one in half and like put it on my own like this. Yeah. Can you impersonate someone famous? I could do Donald Duck. <clears throat> Hello everybody, it's Donald Duck. Yay. In primary school, I used to do it all the time. I don't think I'm going to put that bit in, you know. Is Tiana Mercedes your real name? Yes, it's my real name. My my first name is Tiana hyphen Mercedes. Like, Mercedes isn't my last name. It's part of my first name. That is my whole first name. My parents were going to name me Mercedes, but my, my mum wanted to name me Tiana, so then they just put Tiana Mercedes. What talents do you have? Um... I teach myself a lot of stuff on um, YouTube, like I follow tutorials on YouTube, like I know my way around Photoshop to follow complex tutorials on YouTube, if that makes sense. Yeah, what is your height? I am five foot motherfucking three, yeah. People say I'm shorter than that, but I swear I've measured myself and I'm five foot three, In it, I'm five foot three. What's your favourite public transport? The train. That's it. I don't like the bus. I really don't like the bus. So yeah, I like the train. I prefer the train, but not the overground, the underground. I don't like the overground. Where would your dream holiday be? My dream holiday would be them whitewashed walls in Greece or Bali. I really want to go Bali. What film do you love the most? My favourite film ever is Save the Last Dance. Like, I literally love that film. Like, I used to have it on DVD. I've watched it so many times. Like, I really like, I just really like that film. I think it's just a really nice film. And a recent film which I watched, which I really like, is The Upside with with, with Kevin Hart and that guy from Great Raking Bad. I can't remember his name. But yeah. Are you religious? Um, I am to a certain extent. Like I don't go to church every Sunday like I should and stuff, but like I believe in God and Jesus and I'm a Christian. I was raised in Christian Church of England, not not Catholic. So yeah. 
Can you curl your tongue? Um, Biff. If so, I can. What are your favourite things to do? I like to play games. Like, I will prefer to stay home and play my game than go out clubbing. Like, even even if I, even if I do go out clubbing, I try to come back home drunk and play my game, and it just doesn't work because I just love playing my game so much. And I had someone say to me the other day, like, I thought I was a gamer, but like, I just realised like. I don't like actually like playing games like I just do it for the fun of it but with me like I actually like to play the game like I want to play the game like I cat to play the game like I'm I'm a game cat like yeah so that's the end of the video if my hair looks fucked yeah because look my real hair's on top of the weave there so it might be sticking out a bit it's fucking pissing me off this is the end of the video guys if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and comment down below now i'm joking but just do just just do that just do that just do that just do that